A magnetic field will also affect charges moving in a conductor. Of course, if we were talking about charges moving through a conductor, we are talking about current. The current in this example is flowing to the right, so the electrons will be moving to the left. The magnetic field is marked with dots, so it will point out of the paper. The charges that are moving through the metal are all experiencing a force caused by the magnetic field, and using our right-hand rule, we can determine they are feeling the force to the bottom. This causes the electrons to move towards the bottom of the wire. Since the negatives accumulate at the bottom, this leaves the positive alone at the top, and a potential difference is created within the wire. This voltage is known as the Hall EMF. So the Hall effect is simply the creation of a voltage across a current carrying conductor by a magnetic field. The magnetic field continues to move the negative charges, but it cannot do so without limit. The electric field that is created opposes the magnetic force and eventually reaches a point where they balance each other. Now the force created by a magnetic field is equal to the magnitude of the charge times its drift velocity times the strength of the magnetic field. And the force created by an electric field is the charge times the strength of the electric field. If these two things are balanced, then we can set them equal to each other and get a relationship between the strength of the electric field and the strength of the magnetic field. Interestingly, the magnitude of the charge cancels, leaving the electric field dependent upon the drift velocity of the charges times the strength of the magnetic field. We can also calculate the voltage that is being produced by the Hall electric field by remembering that voltage is simply the strength of the electric field times the distance between the separated charges. In this situation, we actually give the distance the designation L, and the voltage created by the Hall effect is represented by the Greek letter epsilon. Since it is highly likely we want to know the voltage that is created here, we can substitute in the electric field and find that the voltage created by the Hall effect to be the equal to the drift velocity of the electrons times the strength of the magnetic field times the distance between the charges. Suppose a Hall effect probe applies a 0.1 Tesla magnetic field across an artery. What is the Hall EMF if the vessel's diameter is 4.00 millimeters and the blood velocity is 20 centimeters per second? Well, the hardest part about this one is making sure all of the units are converted properly, and we get the Hall EMF of 80.0 microvolts.